waste and its management. Mummy, today while returning home from school, I saw some rag pickers taking out plastic bottles, plates, and other things from the garbage dump near the school. What will they do with it? Isn't it a waste for them too? Mary, anything that is discarded, unwanted, and useless is waste. It includes things like leftover food material, broken glass, empty packets and jars, bottles, rags, and household waste. The rag pickers sort the waste that can be sold to make money. Thus, the things that are a waste for us are a source of money for them. Mummy, is the waste in villages the same as the waste in cities? No, dear. Rural people have limited needs and do not use much of glass, plastic, or packaging materials. Hence, they produce less waste. Most of the rural household waste is also converted into manure. Urban people depend a lot on packed foodstuffs like biscuits, butter, and chocolates. Hence, they produce a lot of waste. Various industries and manufacturing units also produce waste that is harmful and poisonous. Then it must be important to dispose waste properly so that there is no pollution. Yes, Mary. It is very important to dispose waste properly so that it does not pollute the environment. Let me tell you the steps of proper waste disposal from our homes to the dumping sites. Household waste is thrown in covered dustbins at home. A garbage collector goes from house to house and collects the waste and dumps it in big green and blue bins kept by the municipal corporation. The green bin is meant for biodegradable wastes like vegetable peels and paper that can rot and mix easily with soil. The blue bin is for non-biodegradable wastes like glass and plastic that neither rot easily nor mix with soil. The municipal corporation trucks collect the waste from these two bins separately and then dump them in separate dumping sites. Isn't there a way to manage this waste? The best way to manage waste is to follow the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle. We can reduce the waste we produce by following these simple tips. Use products with less packaging and those that can be reused or refilled. Use washable plates and cups instead of disposable ones in parties or while traveling. Use cloth napkins to wipe your hands instead of paper napkins. Use paper on both sides while writing, drawing, etc. Donate old storybooks to a library. We can even reuse things in many ways to avoid wastage. Reuse gift wrapping paper to wrap another gift. Do rough work in the pages left in old notebooks. Reuse plastic bottles, cans, and jars. Use old clothes for dusting and cleaning. Paper printed on one side can be used for writing on the other side. Use pencil shavings to make designs on greeting cards. Old magazines and newspapers can be used to do craft work. Things are also recycled to avoid wastage. Paper is recycled to make new paper. Steel cans are melted to make new cans. 
Broken glass pieces are recycled to make new containers. Recycling helps to save natural resources, prevent pollution and save energy. Always remember that producing less waste and disposing it safely will keep our earth clean and green.